I've been thinking about who influences the influencers, who are the influencers. Are you trying to influence others to the point that you are molding yourselves into the image of who you think those you are trying to influence wants you to be? I know that's confusing, but I'm going to break it down. An influencer is somebody who influences others. Now, an influencer is a full-time job on social media where people are being paid somehow. Uh, whether it's through receiving promotional materials, whether it's through ad revenue, whether it's through they're actually getting paid by companies, uh, but they're being paid somehow to influence other people to buy into the lifestyle that they are living and buying the products that are necessary in order for them to live the lifestyle that they're trying to promote. Most influencers, when you think about them nowadays, you're thinking of, you know, the makeup queens and kings, you know, the party animals, the people who are living luxurious lifestyles. Well, in reality, a lot of those influencers are no longer people who went up the ranks in social media where they were discovered, let's say. But in reality, a lot of them have arrived on the scene these days out of the seemingly blue. Uh, but in reality, there's a big PR team that is behind them and that uh, they are now just more like the spokesperson uh, and they are being paid to be who they are presenting themselves to be on social media. Unfortunately, that's beginning to backfire and there's been stories in the news about young influencers who lost track of who they were as people, who they had no idea who they were anymore and uh, who have fallen off the grid completely and nobody knows where they are anymore. They just gave up and walked away from it all. So that's what an influencer is, but we are all being influenced somehow, whether we want to admit it or not. Unless you happen to be up on a mountaintop without the internet and you wouldn't be watching this right now, you are being bombarded by messages every single day that are trying to influence you into either changing your mind about something or you buying something that they're trying to sell to you with the hope that your life will be changed if you buy that item or if you buy into whatever they're trying to sell you. Are you an influencer? Yes, you are. If you talk to anyone, if you type anything to anyone, if you walk down the street, you are influencing others by your actions, by your words, and by the way that you live. We are all influencing someone. Are you being influenced by those people who you are trying to influence? Yes, you are. And there is a huge temptation, especially on social media, where you were drawn to social media in the first place because you felt that you had something of positive value that might make the difference in someone's life. For example, those of us who've got YouTube channels or websites or that kind of thing, we're on these things because we feel we have a message but if we are trying to broaden our audience so more people hear what we have to say because we really think what we have to say is of importance and it might make a positive change in somebody's life. We might get them thinking about some things they've never thought about before. We might help them get out of a slump they're in or we might have something that we've gone through that We've learned things to do to get out of that area and we'd like other people to know about it. Or maybe we just got a great lifestyle that we have began to walk in and we just want to share it with other people because, hey, maybe they'll want to do something to follow their own dreams. Okay, so that covers a whole lot of people who might be watching this. 
I just want to give a word of caution, speaking from my own experience, not necessarily here on YouTube, but in my past, I tried to create myself to be in the image of whatever group I was hoping to be part of. If it was the cool kids, I would try to be a cool kid. If it was the intellectuals, I would be as intellectual as I could be. If it was the party animals, I tried to party. You get the idea. Um, but I lost who I was. All these parts were factions of who I am as a person. It wasn't like I was um, a deep introvert trying to be an extrovert. All these things were part of who I actually was. But in order to fit into what I was trying to fit into, I would leave parts of me behind and emphasize parts of me that perhaps I wouldn't always emphasize somewhere else, if you get any idea of what I'm talking about. I came to the realization the older that I got and the more healing that took place in my own heart that people were being put off by me trying to fit in to whatever group that I thought I wanted to be part of. Got to be honest, I find it utterly, totally exhausting to try to figure out what a particular group wants me to be at any particular time in order for me to be accepted by that group in order that whatever message I might have to say will be heard by that group. I just don't care anymore. And <laughs> that's what the real truth is. There's one good reason beyond the fact that it's totally exhausting to hold up a facade of who you think people want you to be. It exhausts you. It's like your arms get tired if you're holding a mask up. Your spirit and your emotions become exhausted when you're trying to be something to someone else that you're not. And the mirror of that is people know when you are trying to be something that you're just not. They see it and it puts them off. And with every generation, in the last 30 years, people are more and more turned off by those who are not being their true and real selves. Yeah, they're popular on YouTube. Everybody wants to do all their makeup tips and all that kind of stuff. But they've got a very small group of friends and they've actually got a very small group of people they're actually influencing in a positive way. And most of them have become so lost in the character that they think others want them to be. They've lost themselves. So I'm just going to end it there. Just think about it. Who's influencing you? Are you trying to be an influencer? Or are you trying to bring a positive change in whatever way you think that positive change can be?